In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple pillow on 3ds Max. Normally, we used to have a pillow for the relaxation. But what if I model in this software? So let me show you how to model a simple pillow with the help of 3ds Max. Let's start. First, I need to take the box and simply I will draw it and uh, height will be something like this I guess it's more enough uh, more than enough so if I click on this tool you can see this is a maximize viewport toggle maximize means if I have selected this viewport if you can see these golden lines it means this viewport is selected if I will click on this so now this viewport is maximized I'm going to change this color because it's too much bright and uh, I'm feeling some difficulties to see this now it's okay this little bit zoom out so if I will press F4 on my screen F4 on my keyboard so I can see the topology like if I, if I will increase the segments so I can see the segments with the help of F4 if I will press F4 again so it will be disappear so if I will press F4 once again so I can see the lines the segments and so I have uh, added some segments in this approx uh, 12 and uh, segments uh, 12 segments in width and 12 segments in length I think this must be 15 always remember the more you give the detail the affected result you get if you will decrease the detail so the result quality will be decreased as well so now I have created a simple box with the segments of 15 segments in length and 15 segments in width so what I'm going to do I'm going to select this Come to my modifier list uh, normally it is a toolbar and it is called the second one it's called modify panel so i can come in here open your modifier list and press c c means cloth now you can see that i have pressed c and i can easily find cloth here i'm going to click it and i'm going i'm gonna go in the object properties here this is my box you can see the name of box is here box 001 and the same name is here I have selected the box 001 and uh, giving the collision object sorry giving the properties of cloth make yourself its cloth because, because uh, right now it's a box I have changed this in the cloth here you can find some presets like uh, what kind of a cloth you want like cotton cloth, flannel and uh, rubber cloth, satin, silk, whatever you want. I'm not gonna select anything because I'm not going to prefer a particular cloth but uh, I will just prefer only a cloth. I will apply pressure approx uh, 30% and uh, okay so Let's see what kind of result I will get if I will click on uh, simulate local and click again. Remember, whenever you click first, it will apply the pressure just in a second. So you will have to click another time to stop this animation. Simply simple means that I have clicked two times. So now we can see our basic shape of flow is ready. The basic shape okay guys uh, this grids are actually creating disturbance so I'm going to hide this grid by pressing G now there's no disturbance here <laughs> so let me see is uh, proper and beautiful cloth sorry it's a simple pillow what I'm going to do I'm going to right click convert to editable poly 
if I convert this into the editable poly so you can see the five options uh, I'm going to select this one you can see these five options here and as well here here you can see the icons vertex ages order polygons and elements but in this option you can see only the name of these options I'm going to select the uh, age and uh, just select one each oh, I'm sorry I'm want to actually I want to select this this each and uh, if I want want to select all the strips so I will select the ring ring will select this ring option will select the same directional edges what I'm going to do I'm going to make a simple connection approx uh, three connections or uh, now I will select the center edge this time I'm not going to select Ring. I'm going to select loop because this loop will select the same lines in all directions. So here I have selected this one. I'm going to take the scaling tool, this one, and a little bit, little bit inside of it. It's outside, but I'm going to take this inside so what I'm going to do next is simple my flow is ready I'm just going to scale the entire object a little bit thin because it was too much thick so it's a little bit thin right now And uh, I will come back to this modifier list. Press M multiple times for selecting the option of Mesh Smooth. And uh, alteration will be 2. So now I'm going to select F4 once again for hiding these segments. So here you can see my pillows is ready and you can see this uh, beautiful details in it. These are curvy shapes and uh, it's a proper pillow. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, if you like this video, so kindly Please subscribe my channel. I'm going to upload more tutorial as well. So if you subscribe my channel, so you can get the latest video on the time. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.